Howdy, nerds! Welcome to the Geek Beast, part of the Geekish Network. This is your daily rundown of geek news from geeks like you. If you're new to the show, what we do is we cover the geek news beat and we share our opinions with you, and we hope that you share your opinions back at us down there in the chat. I am your host tonight, Carl, and with me, we've got Centel. Yo, what's cracking, lady? Yo, you know why this is this has been really exciting for me because I get to be the producer. Oh. All of this beautiful content is in my hands. But you know why I'm even more excited because I know you, sir, are at the helm, being the captain of this ship. I'm just simply Scotty talking sure. about. I'm trying. I'm trying to get the dilithium crystals up to speed so we All can right. have the power, baby. I've got the editorial <laughs> control. You've got the production. Both of us can get us into trouble in different kinds of ways exactly <laughs> that's a beautiful thing man all i right, got all right. you babe <laughs> oh that that sounds supportive though which one are you sunny or share Ooh, i'm kind of pretty i don't mind being share <laughs> sunny bono is not not a pretty man though uh, that's that's quite true as well that's all really right quite true <laughs> all right so speaking of getting in trouble one of the most notorious games about getting into trouble is the grand theft auto series this thing grand theft auto 5 has been going on since the playstation 3 and the xbox it's still going they just announced a big 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 new single player uh expansion to their online mode if that makes sense okay. single player right. expansion for their online mode. And it marks the return of a big name in rap music. That is right, the guy from Apple, Dr. Dre. Oh, ah, I like what you did there. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An executive oh, with Apple. Yeah, was, Tim Cook's dope. friend. Tim Cook's friend is going to be in this. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's going on here is there's going to be a new DLC starring uh, Lamar and Franklin and mm. Dr. Dre who need to go find his lost phone, which contains new unreleased Dr. Dre music. When was the last huh. time he released a song, though? Like, in real life, wow. for real, though. This, Golly. I think, Detox. like, this is a big deal, not just because of his name, but also the music. Right? Like, the, the Detox album is the album that never came. Apparently, it's been legendarily sitting in a vault somewhere for the past, like, 15 years. It would be interesting to see how the sound is, because if it sounds like really, really old school Dr. Dre, uh -huh. maybe it's something from the detox right. vault. You, you think it might know. be tracks from that? It I guess that's. Be. A, I, I, God, I hope thing. so. But that would be, you know what? That would be an interesting way to release some of that. You know, I mean, it, like this wouldn't be weird if this was like Fortnite, right? This is Fortnite. Right. We'd be like, oh yeah, of course, Dr. Dre would be on Fortnite. But to do this on Grand Theft Auto, but you know, right? We talked about like a couple of months ago. Rockstar started up its own record label so they could have music licensing rights for this sort of thing. So aside from the Dre tracks, they are introducing a new uh, radio station into the game. So that's not just his, it's gotta be at least what, 20 or so tracks I would guess, uh, in total, including his in order to support a new radio station. Uh, and it says, okay, so quote, Grand Theft Auto's The Contract will arrive December 15th, that's in a week, and will bring with it an eclectic new radio station from some very special guest hosts. I'm guessing Martha Stewart and her friend. <laughs> uh, huge first of their kind updates to existing radio station, including a ton of new and unreleased exclusive tracks from Dr. Dre and a heavy hitting lineup of artists. Now here's a twist, here's a twist, here's a twist. So remember I introduced this by saying this game has been on three generations of consoles or will be once they finally release the yes. you know, PS5 uh, game. Uh, so this DLC is coming out one day before they shut down the 360 and the PS3 version. So uh, if you're still on those ones, uh, <laughs> I, I would get in while the getting's good. Yeah. Big facts. Big I, I facts. actually don't know if it'll be available on that, but FYI. Golly, how depressing is that going to be? Like you finally get a chance to hear it on your 360 and they're like, ah, nah, these servers are down. Sorry, good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That thing's, uh, that thing's eight years old, but as you know, as we sort of established, we don't like things to expire. You know, like you bought that hardware, you bought mm. that game, you've got an Xbox Live or PSN subscription. You want to ride that as far as you can go if you can't move forward or won't move forward for whatever reason. Yeah, that's true. But you know what, though? There's also there's also a brilliance to the marketing of this because mm. uh, Dr. Dre, Snoop, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar mm. are are hosting the, the halftime show for the Super Bowl. And oh, really? That's not that far. That's only like 
you know, like a month and a half month, away, yeah, two yeah. months away, yeah, maybe like a month and a half away. So this this is this is a good move. Synergy. Um, yes. Yes. So you're gonna go ahead and get like some GTA stuff that's coming out, especially like like the Lamar memes have kind of been popping off again a little bit. Some it's some good timing. I mean, if Dre if Dre is one thing, he knows an opportunity when he sees it. I'll give him that. You say what you want about his music, that dude knows how to make money. <laughs> All right. Uh Randy down there in the chat is saying that the NWA soundtrack, uh, I guess the biopic that came out a few years ago, that was oh, the last release. Yeah. Was there new original music on that? I never listened to it. I just, you know what? I just assumed it was old NWA tracks. That's what I would have made.